Hello, my name is Larvin Kuna. There are so many things that we pray for each day. I know that you know their names, but you don't know what they are significant for. Maybe you should find out and talk about it in class. I'm not saying you should be up at 12 o'clock at night. I'm just saying if you have time to check who the person is and why they became a saint, it's a bonus. Right now, I'm going to tell you a story that is very exciting, but also pretty upsetting at parts. I will have questions for you to answer to see if you are paying attention. So let's get started. I was born three months after the Africa Civil War in Chile. My father was one of the Chilean family soldiers. While my father was at war, my mother had to take care of us. We ended up moving to Los Lodges, Argentina. <coughs> after we moved, my father passed away. My mother and I couldn't hold in the pain, so my mother decided to meet someone new. His name was Manuel Moore. He decided that he wanted to pay for the boarding school owned by the Sally and sisters. I had a great time here. I enjoyed every bit of it. I made my Holy Communion at the age of 10 on June 2nd, 1901. I asked the bishop if I could learn now and become a sister, but I was very upset when the words, I recommend that you wait because you are still too young. When I went to school, I would write to God, like, I want to love you and serve you with all my life. Another example would be, I gave you my soul, my heart, my whole self. Writing all of these things reminded me that the Christmas holiday is coming up. The date was December 8, 1901, and I will never forget it. I am told by my mother that I can finally flee from Moore's appearance. When I pray for my mother, I always think about asking the bishop to join the sisters now. Since he knew what was happening in my family, he accepted me. I am now a sister. Things started to get tough in 1903, though I was starting to get ill and weak. I went back to my mother, and Moro was now starting to push my mother and I around. I couldn't take it anymore, so I decided to make a break. When I got out of the house, he caught me and, and beat me until I was unconscious. I woke up from the beat now. I'm really weak and sick. Then I die in eight days, in 1904. I had a good life. And I wish it could have been better, but God made it like that for a reason. You're probably wondering how I'm writing this. Well, you never ask the question how God appeared to these people in, in a spirit. If you want to know, it's a miracle. <coughs> it's time to test your brain skills. Okay, number one. When was I w born? I was born three months after the outbreak of civil war in Chile. Number two. What was the guy's name that my mother met? The guy's name was Manuel Mora. Okay, number three. What am I a patron saint of? Trick question. I will answer it for you. First off, I never said it, and second, I am the patron saint of abusing. Number four. When and what age did I, re did I receive my Holy Communion? I made my Holy Communion at the age of 10 on June 2nd, 1901. The last one. <coughs> Hope you didn't cheat and look back at the story. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Remember to try and look up the saint of the day. Yeah, I know.